welcome for our online trainings and placements in Oracle Cloud Technologies in financials, supply chain management, human capital management, as well as technical part. So in this session, I'm going to show you how to restrict number of sandboxes in a particular instance. So before going for that, first we'll just have an idea what is sandbox. When we are working with uh, our client, sometimes client wants to make some changes in the pages. For example, we have employee page or journal space, invoice pages, supplier, customer, sales orders, these all pages we have. Uh, we got some fields which are provided by Oracle having some standard functionality. Now client wants to add some more fields. Generally what we will do, we will try to work with the flux fields. We have the concept called uh, descriptive flux fields, extensible flux fields, right? So that we will use and we'll go for add the fields to the pages. But when we want to work with existing fields which are provided by Oracle, for example, there is a field called customer context. That field is optional, but client wants to make it as mandatory for a particular role of the users, not for everybody. When the user try to access that particular page from so and so role, then we would like to go for restrict. Like this, whenever we want to make some changes, means personalization or customization, we'll be working with the sandboxes. We can create multiple sandboxes and multiple teams can work with the sandboxes here. Let's go to tools menu. Sorry, not in the tools menu. We have to go to the configuration. Go to configuration sandbox here. So it will allow us to create a sandbox. Uh, what sandbox will do? It will allow us to go for create a an, uh, test environment where we can perform all our personalization and customization and we can go ahead with uh, uh, checking the changes. It means we can go for changes whatever we have done that we that can be refreshed and finally if at all we want to go for issue the commit then we will go for publish the sandbox that will be applied on the mainline application that will be applied on the mainline application okay so when when we are working with sandboxes oracle has given the flexibility to create multiple sandboxes when we are working with the larger implementations especially uh, big projects, uh, obviously multiple teams are working, then client says that uh, we wanted to have multiple uh, sandboxes who are working multiple teams. But still we want to restrict the number of sandboxes which you wanted to create. There is a simple profile option that we need to set up. So what we have to do is we have to go to FSM and we're on. Let's go to setup and maintenance here. Yes. So once we enter into FSM environment, search for the profile option called core administrator profile values. So we can get it either from this environment. If the task is not available here, in case if you are in the financial offering or any other offering, this task is not available. Then we have to go for global task. Right. So where do we find the global task? Here we have to find go to yes here we have if not then we can get it from here so manage applications core administ administrator profile values so it will allow us to set the core administrator profile values here uh, then we can search for the profile value called maximum number of sandboxes maximum number of sandboxes with the display and click search button then we'll come to know how many sandboxes has been set up over here. Now it is showing that 10,999. This means almost 11,000 sandboxes you can go for create. So this profile is going to tell us, it will specify the maximum number of sandboxes that users can create in this instance. 
So obviously when we are working in the project, we'll be working with multiple sandboxes at a time. After creating the sandbox, we can also go for publish it. So let's say today we are going to work with one component, personalization. Tomorrow we are going to work with that. Maybe we have published today. Tomorrow again, we have to create one. Once the sandbox is published, then that is closed. So we, we have to go with the new sandbox again. Before publishing, we can go for perform all the operations, whatever we want. But once it is published, again, we have to create a new sandbox. Okay. So this is the place where we can set maximum number of sandboxes for this particular instance, which we can go for create. Okay. Thank you.